what's like advice that you would give to photographers um, when dealing with b the beginning of a relationship with the potential brand? Maybe it's like being, what, what would you do to prepare to be found? Or maybe it's like, you've already kind of got the connect and maybe you, you know, maybe you bumped into this person at a party and you want to try to impress them with your work. What would you do to go about kind of pitching yourself? Have you experienced that much or do you have any advice for people? Yeah. I mean, I think my biggest advice with that is just that like, I never, I don't, I don't think you should look at meeting people like seeing dollar signs. Um, I think, I think that so much of my work has come, especially the last few years, so much of my work has just come from like real genuine friendships. And like, like for me, I've, I've learned my lesson and like have signed NDAs, but I can say that like, I have gotten those really big brand jobs that were like so much money. Um, and they just came to me out of nowhere. And then I did them and I realized really quickly that like everyone that was a part of the project kind of sucks. And like, <laughs> they're not, they're not empowering me. They don't really care that I'm there. They just needed a photographer. Right. And like, I don't want to put myself in those positions again. So when it comes to like working with brands, um, to me, it's just like, I would rather not make the money and like, not have to work in a really triggering, like awful situation. And I'd rather just like really get to know the people that are hiring you, like ask people questions about themselves, like, and not in a kiss ass way, but in like a really genuine way. Like I'm just always very honest with people. And like right. every time I have a conversation with a brand, I explain to them that like, I am really passionate about what I do. I love creating but my biggest priority is that I work with people who are going to value my work, value my time and like truly want to collaborate and like create a really healthy environment to do that in. Because I don't, I don't, I will not put myself in another situation. That's like just not enjoyable. Cause what's yeah. the fucking point? Like money is great. But like, if you make a lot of money doing a really terrible job, then like, what did you really get out of that besides the check? Like you right. didn't make any connections you didn't like enjoy the experience. Like I just, I don't really, I try not to look at work like that anymore because it just has never benefited me or suited me in the past. So like now I really just genuinely try to get to know everyone that hires me. And, and I've said no to jobs because I didn't really vibe with the people that reach out to me. I'm not that's, gonna lie. Like I, I've had calls where I'm like, these people like, they just don't really get where I'm coming from. They don't, they don't really know much about the creative, like, anything I'm talking about, I can tell they just like kind of like needed photographers when they reach out to me. Like, I don't, right. I just don't want to put myself in those positions. Granted, I don't want that to come off. Like I'm really privileged and I can say no to work. Like there's definitely been times where I really could have used that money and yeah. I'm, I'm not like I'm paying off student debt. I'm paying off medical debt. Like I am not by any means this like wealthy white girl. Like I, you know, I, I have a lot of financial obligations that I'm still paying off in my life. And I, you know, it's just like, I'm not, I just, to me, it's not worth my energy. If, if yeah. people are not like empowering me, like, what's the point? Right. It's just like money isn't worth it. If you say no to things that don't suit you, I've always just, now I see money as a, like money and abundance to me are just an exchange of energy. And I just feel like if you give your energy to somebody just to get money back, that's just like, no, nah, there's no point. Thanks for listening to this clip. Make sure to listen to the full interview, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Hit the subscribe button for more highlights and join our Black Window Cream private community for creators. Links in the description.